Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarker Super Quick Book Preview Show. This episode, we're checking out Fast Pitch by Nick Stone. Let's give it a preview and see if you want to read it. We have to win this game. Like, gotta win. No other option. I've been playing base-related ball, first tee, now soft, since the minute I could hold up a bat. Just like my daddy, and his daddy before him, and his daddy before him. It's in my blood. And I learned the meaning of love-hate relationship in a game situation like this one. It's the bottom of the sixth, and we're up by three. But the opposing team is at bat. Bases are loaded, two strikes, two outs. Anytime I say something is stressful, my mama rolls her eyes and says, You're 12, Shanice. You have no idea what that word means. But this is stressful. As I drop back into my squat behind home plate, my eyes scan the field, and I inhale deep. Impossible to not notice, for me at least, how different our two teams look. While every player on mine, the Fulton Firebirds, has some shade of brown skin, all of the Stockwood Shark Girls are white. Which is the case for most teams in the 12U division of the Dixie Youth Softball Association, or DYSA, if you're feeling fancy. Not only are we Fulton Firebirds, the first all-black team in this league, which, even considering the name, is a huge deal, we're the only team in the entire DYSA with more than three black players on the roster, across eight states, all of which were on the pro-slavery side during the Civil War, something my daddy reminds me of every time he sees DYSA. It's a weight no one your age should have to carry, but can't ignore, he says. And he's right. Every win feels historical. I hate it, but also love it. Victory is almost ours. I hear the ump, a short dude whose middle is shaped like the highlighter-hued ball that gives this game I love so much its name, Hakalugi, above my head. It slams into the dirt on my right with the force of a slimy bullet. So gross. I breathe in again, though it definitely makes me feel like the hot dog I ate earlier is going to join ump guy's blob of mucus beside me. The air has to be full of phlegm germs right now. I gotta get my head back in the game. Yes, we're up, but I'd be lying if I said the sharks aren't good. They're real good, in fact. But so are we. We have to win this game. That'll wrap up our passage preview. Let's take a look at some reviews and stuff. Common Sense Media gives this a 5 out of 5 stars and says it's appropriate for ages 8+. Plus. And Amazon says, similarly, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Here comes our back of the book blurb, but first, if you're enjoying this book preview, would you mind hitting like and subscribe? It'll help me grow the channel. Shanice Lockwood, captain of the Fulton Firebirds, is hyper-focused when she steps up to the plate. Nothing can stop her from leading her team to the U-12 Fast Pitch Softball Regional Championship. But life has thrown some curveballs her way. Strike one, as the sole team of all brown faces, Shanice and the Firebirds have to work twice as hard to prove that black girls belong at bat. Strike two, Shanice's focus gets shaken when her great-uncle Jack reveals that a career-ending and a family name-ruining crime may have been a setup. Strike three, broken focus means mistakes on the field, and Shanice's teammates are beginning to wonder if she's captain qualified. It's up to Shanice to discover the truth about her family's past, and fast, before secrets take the Firebirds out of the game forever. Fast Pitch by Nick Stone is a sports book, it's about diversity, and this is a pretty short book. I like short books, and it's completely okay if you do too. The audiobook is 3 hours and 30 minutes, and the page length is just 192. Alright, let's wrap this baby up. Moment of Truth is this book for you. If not, and you want something scarier, you could check out The Haunted Mask. If you want something like Harry Potter, check out Midnight for Charlie Bone. We also have a bunch of other previews on the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube channel. Check them out, and I hope you find something that you want to read.